you. So over the last few weeks, we've been talking about some things that have been distracting us. And I, I've been doing that because I need you to understand that God has need of you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God needs what you have. Amen. Some of you don't think that God can use you in the profession that you have, Amen. in the giftings that you have, in the callings that you have. But the problem is not God. The problem is you won't let go of some things so that God can heal some hurt in your heart and cause you to be who he needs you to be. Amen. Have your way, God. Amen, Pastor D. Amen. <laughs> Do. Come on, preach, preach, Pastor. <laughs> what are you saying? The, the enemy has walked into some of our lives and he keeps telling us that we can. Amen. Amen. And I don't know what those fishermen were doing on that day, but I'm somewhere all around the Sea of Galilee. They were sitting and they started fishing. All right. <laughs> they had their, their, their rod and their fishing rod. Uh -huh. I don't know much about this stuff, but they were fishing. And, and they were just sitting there, and, and they had their water drinking, their water, because they realized that in order to catch what you really want to catch, you need to be sober so you can know what you're doing. Some folks are just catching any old kind of thing because they ain't sober enough to know what to catch it. It don't mean that you are, 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 are messed up with alcohol or drugs. You just might not be sober enough to hear what God is trying to tell you to do. Ain't nobody talking to me. They were just sitting there by the water's end and because they were fishermen, I can't tell you how long they were sitting there because folk that fish are sit there all night long. Uh -huh. Because it's really about, not about if they catch a fish. Sometimes true fishermen just like getting away. Sir, come on, Pastor. Here yeah, they're sitting there fishing and they know the right bait to put on the line. I'm going to tell you something about fishing it's stinky, everything around it stinks. I don't, I don't care what you spray on. If you got through fishing, you stink too. <laughs> Everything stinks. The cargo stinks. Everything. The fish you catch stink. The bucket stink. The rocks stink. Everything. The place where you sit and stink. Just keep your stinking stuff out of the house. Put it somewhere. That everything will stink when you start fishing. But the reward is not in the smell. Come on, Pastor. rod and trying to catch some things and they were out there minding their own business and they probably were talking to each other about how the day was going and how the kids were acting crazy and how they just needed to get away they might have been hungry I don't know what their problem was but they were fishing on this day uh, anybody hearing me here? You ever just needed to get away and you just took somebody with you just to get away for a little while? Uh, and, but, but, but you needed to catch something. You need to catch something so you can be better in the day. Uh, uh, don't y'all get too happy around here and start running around here and get caught up in this hook. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> just take the hook out of them. Corey, just take it out they were sitting there and they were fishing and, and Jesus was walking by while they were fishing. Something in him knew that they could do what he needed to be done in the spiritual because of what they were doing in the natural. Some of you have given up on God because you think that what you have done in the natural is not good enough for God to use in the spiritual. Come on, sir. But God said, I'm getting ready to do something with these two brothers because the kingdom of God. Somebody say the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. The kingdom is the very thing that God rules over. The kingdom of God has need of fishermen. But not to catch fish in the Galilean Sea. I need some fishermen who can catch some men and women and boys and girls. I need somebody that can go in the highways and the byways. You know the hurting man, the broken man, the addicted woman, the addicted man, the outcast, the one that won't keep I, 
I guess I can find some church folk. Uh -huh. But sometimes the church folk too good. Come on, sir. You're only gonna talk to me today. Uh, sometimes the church folk's too good to touch their lives. 